We can turn on FSD if we have a little gray image of a steering wheel right here. That means it's set and ready to go to be turned on. So if you have stocks, it's one click down on the right stock. That's gonna put us into full self-driving. If you don't have stocks, it's a click in on the right scroll wheel. And then once we're in FSD, that little gray steering wheel is now blue. And the line that the car is traveling down is also turning blue. If this doesn't turn on FSD for you, you might not have FSD toggled on in your menu. So I'm gonna take you over the menu to show you how to adjust the FSD settings. Opening up our menu by clicking on the little icon of our car in the bottom left-hand corner, then select the autopilot tab. Make sure you're selected on full self-driving. And going through our different menu options, settings, you can have the car drive in chill mode, average or assertive, depending on what you prefer. If you don't want the car to pass other cars as often, you can turn on minimal lane changes. So you'll just slow down if cars in front of you are going slower. Whereas if you turn this off, the car will be more likely to pass slower vehicles. This is a newer feature, the automatic set speed. Essentially the car is just gonna determine what speed it thinks you should be going based on car traffic movement around you, whether you're in chill, average, or assertive. And also the speed limit, it'll factor all those things in and then decide how fast it should go. And from there for your relative speed limit, if you tend to like to go over the speed limit, then you can adjust that here. Now, if you'd rather be in more control of how fast the car is going, you can turn this off and then whatever speed that you set, you can adjust it up and down by doing the scroll wheel up and down. Up will increase the set speed, down will decrease the set speed. But most of you are probably just going to have the automatic set speed turned on and have the car take care of it. The things at the bottom of the menu here are more related to autopilot and adaptive safety features. So you can look over those, but we've pretty much touched on the main things related to FSD and making sure the you have full self-driving turned on. Now, when you're driving with FSD on, I recommend setting in a destination for it to navigate to. Otherwise, it'll just take what it thinks is the most highly likely probable pathway that you'll be driving down. So for it to navigate, we're gonna turn on the mic and give it a place to go to. Navigate to Speedway. Then I can select where I want it to go and then it'll navigate to that particular spot. It's good to give FSD a target of where you want it to go instead of it just randomly driving down the road to where it thinks is the most probable path. If the car isn't going as fast as you would like it to, you can always just press down on the accelerator. It'll stay in FSD whether you're pressing down on the accelerator or not. However, to get out of FSD and take over yourself, you can tap on the brake, you can move the steering wheel, or you can click up on the right stock if you have stocks. Otherwise, if you don't have stocks to turn off FSD, you can just click in the right scroll wheel. And FSD is designed to get you from point A to point B. So that means stopping at stop signs, making turns, stopping at stoplights. Right now I have the car set to auto speed. So essentially it's picking what speed to go based on the speed limit, traffic conditions around me, as well as if I'm in assertive average or chill mode. If you have it set to where you're in control of the speed that it's going, you can adjust this by doing the scroll wheel up to increase the speed and the scroll wheel down to decrease the speed. If you're approaching a car that's going a bit slower than your set speed and you're on the highway, the car will change lanes automatically past the car. You'll have control of this as well. If you'd like it to make lane changes, you can always just turn the blinker on yourself and then it'll make the necessary lane changes it needs to. If you'd like to change the assertiveness of your vehicle, you can do this with the right scroll wheel, clicking it over to the right to increase assertiveness, over to the left to decrease assertiveness. This will adjust things like the speed you're going, the follow distance you are behind vehicles. So right now I'm in chill mode. If I wanna increase assertiveness, clicking over to the right, it goes up to average. And then again, over to the right, it's up to assertive. I like setting up the screen like this where I can see the FSD visualization here on the left and my map on the right. But you can also expand this to the entire screen if you want by just dragging and dropping over to the other side. And that makes the FSD visualization full screen. And if you wanna get rid of that, you just slide it back to where it was. And then we have that split screen. It's important to stay attentive while using FSD. If you're not paying attention, the car will warn you and nag you more often to pay attention and grab the steering wheel. If FSD is repeatedly disengaging because you're not paying attention, you could even end up losing access to FSD. So definitely pay attention and be ready to take over if needed.